Get your popcorn ready. I got another banger for you guys. Okay guys, we're here on location. Um, I don't know if you can see that really good on the camera there, but um, a lot of uh, uh, wasp mud huts. You got, we're here to do this house. You see it's a beautiful home by the way, but it's, uh, you know, this brick home. And you can see up there, you got a lot of organics up there, but a lot, lots and lots of wasps. You got bumblebee nests, you got, um, what's that called? Uh, cocoons butterfly cocoons see that one right there look full of uh full of wasps 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 now i couldn't record for you when i first got here because the homeowner was walking around and watching me work but the worst part was the back side and it doesn't look that bad because i already sprayed it and you can see here on the patio here uh that i already put a tremendous amount of chemical on it right here and uh, you can see up there i mean i've already I've already hit it really good with solution, but it was really bad. But you see, so all the way up, you have your gutters and your soffits are really bad, full of uh, mud huts, wasps nests, and uh, and everything. So I wanted to show you that because I've already pulled out my line and I already did some prep work. My goal was to record from the very beginning. Um, I'm hoping that my GoPro doesn't die on me because you know in this heat wave, I've been having a real issue with uh, with uh, with the GoPro. And I got three different ones and it happens to all of them. So I'm gonna to have to try to figure that problem out. But anyway, so you see here, that's what we're doing. And I'm gonna bring my line back around and we're gonna hit all of that. You can see right here, look how bad this is guys. And we're, there's two planters up here we're gonna move. But you can see up there, look, look how bad that is. That's really bad up there and really bad up there. Lots of wasps up there, look at that. Wow really bad and then you got some algae growing right here so we're gonna go ahead and move these two plants down by over here so we do not have to worry about them um, and then you you got basically this is a soffits and uh, and downspouts and the pillars wash of course you know the the solution as you guys well know is gonna go all over the brick as well and we're gonna touch up all the windows and everything but we're gonna make all of this look beautiful and look i'm in a backup truck today guys i've had this one this truck here we did a is on episode two we did a walk around of the truck and so you guys can see that if you want to go back but um yeah uh, when all the trucks are out in the field with the technicians this is you know i'll have i have to uh I have to use the the little baby but uh, we've had this for seven years now some of you guys have wondered if you can put a buffer tank in a F f-150 and i mean look seven years we've never had a single issue with this truck we change the brakes every year and we do the tune-up on it uh 50 gallon sauce tank buffer tank five and a half gallon a minute machine this is one of our oldest units actually and it's i don't even know how many hours thousands of hours we've we've added on this thing but yeah, gets the job done. So let's go ahead and knock this out. There she is. Um, and you guys saw me moving the, the plants there. Uh, for the most part, you want to try to always move potted plants. Now you can pre-wet and post-wet them. But the problem is if the chemical gets on the, on the soil there, it can raise the pH level of the soil and plants... Uh, Plants need like an alkalinity level of like maybe three and a half to thrive. So you'll, you'll have problems with plants if you uh, leave that chemical in there. So it's just easier to move. So you see that up there, guys, look. And, and, and again, I mean, I already hit this once. So, you know, with the first, um, the first, the first phase, you know, the, the first uh, round of, of sauce, it, it, it really softened it all up. Old uh, bird's nest right there. So there you go. And that, that, that's what you want to do. You know, I treat it kind of like a situation like this as a typical house wash. You want to you wanna hit it uh, with as much solution as you can on your first phase. Let that sit for a little bit. 
and and go from there and then in your second phase you want to come through and do some spot treating on your second part there of the same phase so that's what i'm doing i'm going to hit all the soffits of this house here and uh and yeah it's funny uh last year um maybe it was the year before last yeah so so the, so two years ago we had one of our and it's funny it's, it was actually one of our best technicians at the time um man he called from the field and he quit he quit on us while he was out in the field and he was doing a job and i guess he was doing a job and got stung by a bee while he was on the job and uh you know he wasn't he didn't have a allergy to bees or anything like that he just he was a uh he had what's it called a phobia of bees and me half halfway through the job you know he had gotten sauce all over the job and he called the office and he's like f this job and blah 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 and the customer was really upset and the office manager called me and i had to go out there and and uh finish up the job but yeah they certainly don't make them how they used to back in the day that's for sure there you go look and, and this right here this this section i mean it had i don't know 50 plus wasp wasp huts and most most of them for the most part are gone uh they all look like this right here you see this one in a corner right there that one's still really bad so these doors they were full, full of mildew and these pillars were really bad as well you see the mildew growing on the pillar right there guys i'm gonna take care of that real quick get some sauce on it you see it get some sauce up there as well all right there you go and i moved the furniture you know um i did an episode i don't know what number it was a couple episodes ago where we talked about upsells and services that you can add and when i got here uh, this house is a 499 dollars job and i upsold that patio right there for 200 so that's what you want to do you know you you want to always be thinking about because you know i'm already here you know what i mean guys like it doesn't cost me more money to add that job so you know and i'll be here for an extra hour i'm letting all of that chemical see i already hit it letting that sit really well and then in a little bit we'll we'll go back and we'll touch that up so you guys are going to get to see all of that i'm going to hit this with the oh guys look at this oh my god look look guys you see that can you see that from your point of view i'm not sure but man, we're gonna upset some of these bees. Look at that, guys. Look at that, angry ass wasps right there, right there, guys. There's like 30 of them right there. You see that? Wow. So if you guys ever been wondering, like, what do you do when you got wasp nests? Like, I'm not even kidding you. There's probably over 100 on this house that I'm dealing with. And that's what you do with them right there, look. That's what you do. Because when you spray that, they become super dumb. You don't have to worry about it. Look at that, look at that. And then I let that sit, I walk away. And what they're, oh, right there too, guys. Look at that, look at that. They're super pissed off right now. Bam, bam. There you go. So, oh, look at that, guys. That tank. Ooh, I'm gonna hit that. Has some outdoor organics going on it. A little bit of mildew, a little bit of mold. Okay, so we're gonna keep hitting, keep going. A little bit of mo uh, mildew on the uh, windowsill. Keep going. There you go. Hit the, and again, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and, and keep spraying until everything is clean. That is not the purpose of round one, right? Purpose is just to get solution on there and go from there. See that, the downspout? Look at that. I mean, all of these uh, wasp nests and mud huts, they're all full of wasps, guys. So, you know, I wasn't kidding the other day when I told you I got stung like 30, 40 times last week and you know, it's something that you're gonna have to deal with, face. So, you know, if you don't like bees, well, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you're gonna run into them all the time in this business, so there you go. Uh, a little bit of mold growing right there on the wall, we'll take care of that. 
So I moved those plants for safety. Now I can go ahead and hit this, hit this pillow really good. Get, and again, I mean, the, in phase one, all I'm doing is getting sauce on it. That's all I'm worried about right now. Making sure everything has sauce on it. Oop. Yeah, the thing with the GoPro, I'm gonna try to figure, ooh, look at that one, guys. That one has a lot of wasp on it, too. I'm gonna try to figure out, because it's the weirdest things, because um, I've seen a bunch of videos on, on YouTube. Oh, right there, guys, look at that. Ooh, there you go, get him, get him. A um, bunch of videos on YouTube, you know, guys recording out in the desert and out in Las Vegas and stuff like that with their GoPros. And it's like, how, how did they do it how, without, without the GoPro dying on them? Now today, today I'm, I'm, I'm getting kind of lucky because you can see, I mean, it's, it's kind of cloudy. So I don't have to worry about it that much. So I'm happy about that. But maybe there's something. I'm going to have to research it, guys. The bottom line is if you guys ever had this issue before, you know, put it in the comment section. Let me know if you guys uh, have GoPros. Um, yeah. And how you dealt with it with GoPros, you know, not lasting very long when it's hot outside. But yeah, we've been dealing with that issue. And again, I mean, it's not the brand guys or, or anything like that i mean we have three different gopros and you know these are all you know like seven eight hundred dollar cameras so it's got to be something more to it than 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 uh than simply it's the camera you know what i mean see how bad that is guys and oh uh, i mean you can't tell on camera guys but man we're pissing off some bees here today guys bees i mean no we're pissing off some wasps angry ass yellow jackets so but again you know guys i mean i always talk about this you know uh that it takes three things for you to make it in a pressure washing business right and if you've seen my videos you're gonna know you're already gonna know what i'm gonna say and you know it takes skill out out in the field and skill comes from experience you know i houses like this one right here i've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of houses just like this one so you know I, I didn't do that in a in a week or two or a month or two or a day or look at all that mildew or a day or two it took me years it took me years to get that done so now with all the confidence in the world i can come to a house like this you know like when i first showed up the homeowner was like Ooh, are you sure you're gonna be able to clean that up? And it's like, uh, yeah, of course we're, I'm sure I'm gonna be able to clean that up. And how can I be so sure? Because again, it's something I've done over and over and over and over again, right? So that's where skill in the field comes from, from just getting out there and, and, and putting in that work. You know, I liken it, you know, to anything that you do that you're skilled at you know uh, maybe you you play an instrument for example or you know maybe you play a sport and you're really skilled at that you know whenever you're really skilled at something it's because you you put in the hour you put in the work to be able to develop that skill you know that's how that works and then number two is chemical knowledge you know uh, we've talked about this in great detail on my on my channel i think it's one of the things we probably mentioned the most is talking about chemical knowledge you know my episode 10 that we did i did a whole breakdown i did a whole breakdown of that you know where we talk about all the essential chemicals of the pressure washing business from your rust to your degrees or to your sh and by the way guys i'm downstreaming this i'm downstreaming this with a six percent solution or a 50 50 mix Oh, we got a plant right there, guys. I didn't see that one. Whew, I'm glad I caught it. I'm glad I caught it in time. You see that? Two little plants right here, guys. And he, and when I first pulled up, he said that uh, the stuff that he has out here is basically junk and he doesn't mind getting it wet and blah, blah, blah. So, ooh, I'm glad I caught that, guys. See those two little plants, house plants or whatever. 
well not house plants they're outdoor plants but i don't want to get any any sauce on them so and see i went around and i sauced everything up now once i get to this 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 corner right here i'll switch to my shooter tip this tip right here and then that's all i'm gonna do from that point on is just hit everything all over again with my shooter tip so you, you see uh the the downspouts there you see all that mildew right there guys on the soffit so i'm hitting that really good so yeah so chemical knowledge episode 10 make sure you watch that um you know you partner that up with uh, experience and skill out in the field Ooh, guys that's a deadly combo very very deadly combo and then uh and then finally you know step three is you got to have commercial grade equipment right but i'm i just showed you guys we did a, a mini walkthrough of my uh my uh my rig there you know that's not the rig that i really like to use you know that that doesn't have my ar man i wish i had my ar with me right here on this job you kidding me i'd probably be at least uh yeah you you cut your time down in half with that thing you can nuke some jobs out with that right i'd love to have my 10 gallon a minute machine here in this job but it's not necessary you know some jobs really that's a uh, overkill in terms of equipment this is all you need right here look at that I've, and remember i've only hit this house with um you know one round right so you know wait until i've I, i've i've uh you know done the second round now this house here because you got hundreds hundreds not one or two or three or four but hundreds of mud huts and wasp nests right i mean it might take three it might take three rounds of sauce i don't know look at that hit that really good Ooh, one right there I'm trying not to, ideally would be for me to stand over there and, 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 and spray, but I'm trying my best not to, uh, not to get the solution on the camera so you guys can, can see better. And I don't want any problems with the GoPro today because I got a couple gutter jobs on the agenda, on the ticket. And, uh, and later on, I was actually planning on doing a roof job too. So I want the GoPro. Oh guys, over here is already looking pretty good. And I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see this part, but yeah, this backside was the worst part. You see that? Ooh, right there. You see that? Right here, guys? Look at that. And I just noticed too, he's also got, you know, um, lichen bacteria. So, I mean, this guy's got all your outdoor organics growing, pretty much growing on his, uh, on his house. Your mildew, mold, algae green and black algae mildew and lichen bacteria and guys the the wasps are flying all over the place guys they're pretty pissed off so let's keep moving so because they're probably they've probably already sent out their assassins to look for us so but it's all good you know that's just how how the business is guys you know this business is going to take Ooh, this one. This one had a bunch of wasps, but now they're pretty much all. That's gone. You know, the the business, you know, uh, has a a wonderful process, guys, of elim eliminating people. Right? That's that that's what this is. You know, if the bees don't get you and eliminate you out of the way, something else will. And that's why some people make it. I talked about this before, right? Obstacles. Some people make it in business and some people do not. Because you run into certain things, some people are over, uh, are able to overcome those things and some people are not. It's pretty much that simple. There you go. What I'm gonna do here, guys, because I'm gonna be here for a hot minute, I'm gonna finish this off um and then i'll catch what i'll do is i'll catch you guys on the rinse side because i don't want this video to be you know an hour and a half long either you know what i mean i don't want to bore you guys with i know i talk too much I, you know what's so funny i actually had a subscriber uh make a comment to me that 
um, I use the word guys a lot. And uh, I had something I didn't even realize it because I use it a lot in my daily life, you know, when I talk to my, to my technicians and stuff, you know? But yeah, it's funny after he mentioned that, I was like, yeah, I just say the word guys a lot. And I'm gonna give you guys like a, 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 a great piece of advice on that front. Whatever you do, do not, okay? Let me repeat myself. Do not start a drinking game where every time I say the word guys, you take a shot because guys, you're gonna be drunk by the two minute mark. So that's a great, great piece of advice right there. But anyway, let me turn the camera off and I'll catch you guys on the, on the rinse side, all right? See you soon, bye. Okay guys, we are in, uh, in the final steps here of the rinse stage. Uh, it took me a total of three, three rounds of sauce. The first round I did in a little over 20 minutes. Second round was right around 14 minutes. The last round was right around eight minutes. Uh, the last round, pretty much everything came off. And then uh, I already rinsed the, the front of the house and the other side of the house. We just have this side right here where we are and the back side. And the reason why I did that is the my machine, I mean, it's too loud. It's only like about 15 feet away from his front door. So I didn't want to record there, you know, and you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. So all we got to do is just touch up that window. Remember, I put five seconds of water per, per, uh, per window pane. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You guys remember how all of this was just full of wasps. And by the way, you know, something I've mentioned a lot on my channel, you know, how I talk about how you guys should, uh, look how beautiful he's out here all by himself. He's got like five, six acres of land, guys. Look at that, beautiful. So you know how I'm always talking to you guys about, um, and you know, at some point here, look at his roof, guys. You see that? You see all that mold spots up there? Wow, and we upsold him today, that patio. So I'm gonna talk to him about doing his roof. Look at that, we can make that roof look beautiful. So anyway, um, one of the things I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna send his information. Of course, I'm gonna talk to him about this to our, our a company that we network with that uh, does um, pest control because, uh, you know, obviously that's, a, that's a, not a competing industry type of thing and the our pest control guy that we network with he gets us you know about uh 10 to 15 properties every year for us to pressure wash and this will be a great one remember how green this tank was guys green and black look at that beautiful good to go so you know that's what you want to do you know you want to send work to you know your your landscapers and um people that do painting and he's definitely going to pick up the work here because the bugs here at this house they are destroying his paint uh the wood is all eaten up which tells me he's got a termite problem so um i'm gonna talk to him about calling that company and send that over to my buddy i just got another buddy of mine a uh, like a twenty-eight thousand dollar job we we pressure wash we do a lot of churches for some reason and uh, we just pressure wash this church where we did their steeple and everything and they, they were looking for somebody to uh, redo the, the parking lot. And I have a buddy that does that for a living. He's got a big, uh, what is that called? Uh, um, asphalt company. So we sent that over to him. So that side over there is done. Now I'm just hitting these windows. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four, five one two three four five so yeah guys i mean you saw this was a great um a great a great job to record out because you saw the amount of mud huts and, and and bees and all that and for those of you guys who are allergic you know i know you got to carry around your epi pen and all that but guys guess how many times you're not even going to believe this guess how many times with with hundreds of bees and wasps flying around guess how many times i, I got stung take a wild guess Put it in a comment section below if you know the answer. Zero, that's right. Zero, zero times. Okay, we're rinsing here. If you remember, you know, looking up there, look. All those mud huts, they're all gone. 
So there you go. Just rinsing off a little bit of the of the glass here. There you go. So and then we, we pressure wash this part as well. And I put some um, goofy juice or uh, concrete brightener. So that's gonna that's really gonna look good in a day or two when that, that concrete brightener uh, kicks in. So oh and by the way if you guys if you guys want um, you know my formula for the concrete brightener that we use the goofy juice that we use here at the company you can just go ahead and email me and I will send you the formula for that a lot of guys been asking and are really interested in that so and like I said the concrete brightener is not something that's gonna work you know right away when you do it it takes it needs a little bit of sunlight and just give it a couple days and it's gonna look beautiful we've been to driveways where we did it and, and you know it just kind of looked normal when we put it on there and then like the next day or so we would be out there doing a neighbor or something and man you would see the driveway from the previous day just looking beautiful but yeah that's what you want to do be a professional do it everything um, the way professionals do it make make that money but that's how we did it here and this is a this is a brand new client to us you know uh, he's a client that uh he got us through uh, the what's that called the google my business you know we're not too far away from my shop here and you know this is going to be a lifelong customer because you can see i mean and you see here what i'm saying guys like all of that right there so the you know different types of bugs will some bugs attack paint some some bugs attack wood and that's just how it goes so you know always keep an eye out you know what i mean for different uh vendor opportunities where you can hook up you know maybe the landscaper with some work and you know and that's how that's how this industry w works you help others and help others will help you so that's it guys you know that side was already done what i'm going to do now is I am going to put the machine away, uh, put the, the hose away, turn off the machine, and you and I will do a, a quick walk around so you can see here the work. There was a really, really bad spot right there in that gutter corner right there. You can see the work that was done here, and, uh, and we'll wrap this one up, another one on the books. You know, this was a $700 job. You know, we uh, initially is a, $499 for the for the house 499 for the house and then we added 200 for that patio back there pea gravel patio let's turn this off and go from there imagine guys I've done between me and all my technicians throughout the years we've done over 5,000 jobs with this rig original machine um the hose reels are not original but everything else i mean wow and it's a f-150 and now it has uh, i want to say right on right around or right over 200,000 miles i got this originally for 500 bucks from a little old lady that i pressure washed her house so there you go 125 gallon buffer tank 50 gallon sauce tank that's all you need very easy setup you see this filter that i got at uh, tractor supply um, and once a week, it's, it's part of my maintenance, my maintenance package. Once a week, I, uh, I, um, unclog all the, all the filters and this was new. These reels are like seven, $800 a piece. They're very, they're expensive, but they are worth their weight in gold. And that's it. Machine belt driven best. Don't ever buy the pump ones. Um, th th this is the best, uh, the, not the pump, uh, the gear, the gear ones, you know, always buy belt. Um, but anyway, let's do a quick walk around here. So, um, you guys remember seeing up there, it was just how nasty it was. Let's, let's take a look here. And I could see that, that the, the bugs already ate part of the cement that's up there. So you can see up here, guys. I mean, wow. You remember what the before was like. And maybe I'll put a picture up at the end so you can see. I mean, this thing looked like a like a spider's den or something like that and like i said guys you know with the bees you know 
Uh, last week I got stung by bees, but I wasn't pressure washing. I was out there doing a gutter cleaning job and I didn't have a machine on me. But you know, um, that's, that's your answer there for the bees. You know, when you're out there and you see a nest, just put a little sauce on it. It doesn't kill them. It just makes them stupid for, for a little bit. And they fly around like a bunch of dummies. And, and that's it. So you see how clean that looks. I put 10 seconds on each window, 10 seconds of water. So, and we're gonna, I'm gonna put the camera away here in a little bit and let the customer know. Remember all the organics, all the green and black that was growing on the outside part of the gutter. Of course, the patio there, look at that. That's perfect and I put some goofy juice on it. So that's good to go, everything's done. And that's it. Another one on the books. I got three more on the schedule for today. I'm hoping my GoPro holds up on me because I got a couple gutter jobs. Um, we do a lot, most of our gutters, I would say, in the fall, which makes sense. Um, it, between September and December, we're going to do about 500 gutters. Um, but I'm going to get a lot of that content for you guys. And But there you have it, guys. Uh, 200 feet of line, 200 feet of Flexzilla. I haven't turned off the water yet. And that's it. You know, a lot of you guys have questions about, you know, um, how you handle wasps and, and, and bees and stuff. And guys, literally there was hundreds of bees and wasps flying around. Did not get stung, not one time. Not, not one time. So there you have it. Thank you very much guys for, uh, for watching this uh, how to wash a house video. I really appreciate you. And um, you know, I uh, wanna see you guys on the next video as well. It, guys, in the next video, we're going to be talking about um, something that is very, very, very important. And we're going to talk about money management for the winter time, like how you can uh, come up with the plan so you can save money for the winter time. So we're going to talk about that and, and also things that you can do in the winter time to earn money. So, uh, yeah. Um, also, I keep forgetting to tell you guys this. Um, you know, I love I love it when you guys send me emails. So um, you can find my email in the description below, and I answer all of my emails. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.